Hey, it's Scholar. So I'm finally doing this stretch mark video. I've been meaning to do it for such a long time. So I'm finally getting onto this. I'll start off with showing you my stretch marks. So that's one on my arm. I have them on both arms. They're like on the front of my arm, if you can't tell where they are on that one. But yeah, they're quite light. And this one is on the back of my arm, which is like going into my back. And these ones are on my hips. Those annoy me a lot because I'm working to get a nice bikini body as well and I just feel like they're in the way so and these ones are on my calves and I have these like all up the back of my leg and these probably annoy me the most because I think I'd have a lot more confidence with my legs if they weren't there and they're like all up the back of my leg and I just don't like them because they look kind of weird and I really just want them gone and any everyone can get stretch marks if it's like from puberty or getting pregnant or gaining weight or losing weight too quickly either one you can get stretch marks I know it's not quite common like not many people know that you can get stretch marks if you lose too much weight too fast you can also get stretch marks I don't know how it works but I guess you can and I think it's because if you do lose weight then stretch marks become more apparent like when you're bigger you won't be able to see them but because it, your skin is sort of like going back to its normalness the stretch marks will be more visible instead of being like stretched out over skin stretch marks do become more visible as you lose weight which is why it ties into this and obviously because when you gain weight you do get a few stretch marks not everybody but I certainly did I think I partly got them through puberty as well but they never went away obviously because I kept gaining weight as well so I hope this can help okay so I started trying to get rid of my stretch marks around the same time I started losing weight which was about last summer and I started off using stuff like bio oil and I have to say bio oil doesn't really work for me and for a lot of people I know bio oil does not work especially if you already have oily skin I wouldn't recommend bio oil because it is so oily so I used it for such a long time and I saw no difference so I started looking for stuff that went along with me I did try something from Holland and Barrett's once which was like this organic thing there came a beautiful day where I found out about cocoa butter. Thought of talking about this because this is my favorite one, right? This is the Palmer's range. I choose to get the Palmer's range because Palmer's is amazing with cocoa butter and I just feel like this is the best brand you can go with. So yeah, this is cocoa butter for formula massage lotion for stretch marks and it says it helps improve the appearance of stretch marks and it actually does a product that does what it says and the problem with my stretch marks is because some of them like you saw the ones on my hips are quite dark they used to be darker than that actually this stuff is when I noticed that my stretch marks were fading is when I started using this stuff I started in the first two weeks I noticed this stuff was working and I would massage it on my hips every night after I took a shower, I massaged it and I kept doing it and then after two weeks I suddenly noticed, hang on a minute, these stretch marks are disappearing and it was amazing and I was like, oh my goodness, cocoa butter is amazing and I just love this stuff, it really works. If if you don't see results in the first two weeks, then I'm sorry, but I'm pretty sure you will see results in the first two weeks. Put it anywhere all over yourself. And I notice again with this one is that it smooths out your skin tone. It makes everything just a lot more smoother. And the smell, you guys, is absolutely delicious. This is lovely. There's actually another one that I used. I don't have it here with me. It is body firming it's just the same pro it's the same brand and sort of product but it was like body firming because i just wanted to firm a few things up and that has an absolutely delicious smell and i found that you got a little bit more in that one and it was a bit thicker and can rub it all over your body and make your skin really soft and evened out your skin tone and just made you glow it was absolutely lovely if I can find a picture of it I would have put it up by now and then I decided to branch out on the Palmer's cocoa butter range 
I think it was about a month ago, Boots was doing this like, buy three products and get the third, the third one that's cheapest for free. And well, I got cocoa butter formula with vitamin E body butter. Okay, that's what it looks like. And then I got the body scrub. This stuff, you guys, I am telling you, cocoa butter smells so good. I think you should definitely, before you get any cocoa butter products, is smell it first. So you can see how you like it and then see where you can go from there. And if you love the smell, then I guess you'll love it even more and keep using it. So the body butter just looks like this. It's like that. It's like body butter. And you just take it off. And it just smooths on. You can see it's quite thick. I only took a little bit and it's like spreading all over my hand. I'm telling you, it smells so amazingly good. I really like the body butter because the smell is a lot, a lot stronger than the other ones. And yeah, I definitely want to get that again because I'm trying to run out. And yeah, that's really good. I really like this one. Again, made my skin look bright, made everything so soft and I smell so good. I am telling you guys, you need to get that. And then there's a body scrub. You use this in the shower or in the bathtub or something like that. A little bit goes a long way, I am telling you. This is what it looks like. You can see that. Again, this smells so good. Oh my god, I absolutely love the smell. I'm sorry, I'm in love with it. And it has directions on how to use it as well but basically one good thing about this is that it is a scrub so obviously you can get any other scrub I just chose to get the cocoa butter one but getting a scrub what's good about it is that you basically rub away dead skin and stuff like that it just makes your skin a lot more softer and I try to target the places I have stretch marks and really rub in on those areas and afterwards you feel so soft I only do it about once a week I don't do it too often to just save it and just because you don't want to keep putting that much impact on your skin like every day so like I don't know you can maybe do it every other day if you want but I do it every week as sort of like a treat to myself at the end of the week is what I usually do. So yeah, this definitely is good. I think this was four pounds something as well. And this was four pounds something as well. If I get the same exact, I will put the prices down there when I find them out. So all the prices for everything down there and the links to them if you want to order them. Okay, so on to the next one which is the Cocoa Butter Formula Natural Bronze no Lotion, which looks like this. It's a bit, you can see it's a bit, um, if you want to see what it looks like, it's a bit darker to the other one because it's a tanning one. And I know what you're wondering, Scholar, why are you getting a tanning lotion when you're already tanned? as you say so um, it's actually because they recommend for stretch marks that you should use um, tannings like if you want to go out on the beach or the pool or something or just generally want to cover up blemishes and stretch marks and stuff like that you should t use self tanner like a tanning lotion or something and it'll cover those up and um, I don't know if this has been working I'm not sure if this has been, I really don't know what to say about this product. And it says, this is why I got it, it says, for all skin tones. So I'm hoping that includes my skin tone. I haven't really seen any difference, but what I noticed is because I guess I must have forgotten to wash my hands after one of the uses. So like, in between my hands, you can see, they're not there now, but because I haven't used it in a while. But you could see the self tanner and it looked really icky and dark like I had stuff all up in there but I guess if I could see the difference on the palm of my hands. This stuff I'm not sure for me. It definitely works if you have lighter skin I guess but for me I haven't seen anything different or anything. I did notice when it was on my hands it had a nice glow to it. I guess my hand would be the color of your skin if you're lighter a little bit and I noticed I had a nice glow and it smells nice you can't really tell that that's but yeah and a little bit goes a long way like you saw that little pump 
just goes all over my arm. Those are all the products I've used from the Cocoa Butter Palmer's range. And I guess it's just a smell and I can always rely on them to use them and I know that they work now, even when I'm not trying to get rid of stretch marks or I'm just wanting to use them. I know they'll really work. Now, now these two are actually my sisters and I haven't used them but I just wanted to show you them to show you can get different types of things and this is just a normal cocoa butter notice even on any cocoa butter thing it says it smooths marks and tones skin like you can get that with any stretch mark I mean I mean any cocoa butter product you will I think get results that smooths it out smoothies smooths it out you don't even have to get the specific stretch mark one you can get any cocoa butter thing and i think it will help with your stretch marks and anything like that any blemishes why i wanted to show you this is like if you're going on holiday and you're like you can't be bothered or if it's just particularly hot like in the summer now and you want to put on your sunscreen but then you don't also want to have to put on the cocoa butter all over your body too because you just don't want too many products on you this is cool because it does have SPF 15 they have higher ones obviously but for my sister she was going to Spain like Gran Canaria or something like that and it was really hot there and she just wanted like some a little bit of protection because she's not used to that sort of heat anymore so she took this and I guess it was good I don't know I don't know she didn't really say anything about it she didn't say it worked out that well but I guess it might have. And then I wanted to show that the Palmer's range just doesn't do cocoa butter. This is actually an olive butter formula. And yeah, it has vitamin E in it as well. And vitamin E just helps restore skin and is really good for your skin anyway. So it says it has extra virgin olive oil. Anti-aging peptide complex helps increase skin's firmness and E elasticity yeah that's why I wanted to say sorry I can't say elasticity elasticity it's like elastic you know the word you know what I'm trying to say but for some reason I can never say it that is something I wanted to mention the reason you have stretch marks is because your skin can't elas doesn't have enough elasticity elasticity to handle that much stretching I can't say that word oh anyway that's one thing I wanted to say so I don't know I've never used this my sister has and she I've noticed she's had this for a couple of months now like she keeps buying it when she runs out which I guess means it's pretty good oh okay that smells good that smells really good okay oh I might just I'd definitely try and get this yeah, all the products I've shown will be down there in the bar to tell you how much they are and where the sort of places you can get them from. Yeah. I have, if you look at my desk, I have a lot more moisturizers and different sort of stuff that like just smells good and stuff like that. And I will show you in another video, like all my moisturizing collection, if you want me to go more deeper into moisturizing rather than just stretch marks but I thought I did sort of add that in a bit you can request that but yeah I hope you got the point of this video which is that you should always keep your skin moisturized whether you're using products specifically for stretch marks or just for anything like that I think it's just good to keep your skin hydrated and moisturized and I guess if you've seen my other video I don't know which one I'm uploading first if you've seen my weight loss tips and health video then um, you'd see that I mentioned that you should drink a lot of water but if you haven't yet one of the things I stress about is that you should drink a lot of water because that will help your skin as well to uh, keep hydrated anyway I hope this was not too long I will try and at the moment I'm looking at it and it's 25 minutes long I hope I'm able to edit this down a lot more so it's much more watchable for you and anyway thank you for watching and if you want to request anything else just put in the comments below thank you for watching bye